Hi everyone, welcome back to Sueño de Vida here in the cloud forest of northwest Ecuador. Uh, we just had a little rainstorm and it's clearing up. So I came out to do a little work here in uh, one of our plantations. And today I want to talk about what happens when you make a mistake and how do you learn from it. So right down here, as I was just going in to uh, harvest some plantains, I found this little plant and this was planted here by mistake. I'm not sure who did it. I'm not sure how it happened. It doesn't matter. I'm just glad that I found it. This is an Aroma Nacional cacao plant and we usually plant these in the shade and protection of large banana and plantain plants. Um, this poor little guy here, I don't know how long he's been here by himself, but you can tell he's really struggling. Um, the grass around the plant is very tall. It's got no protection, so the leaves are somewhat yellowed. Uh, they've got some little spots on them, and uh, he's just really here in isolation. So uh, just to compare, I'm gonna fix this. Don't worry. Now that I know that this plant is here, I'm going. It's it's still this is a perfectly reversible mistake. I'm going to take this out and I'm going to uh, plant it in the shade and protection of a large banana plant. However, um, it just gives a really good opportunity to talk about what happens when you find a mistake or when you make a mistake and how to use the framework, the really elegant framework of Centropic um, Agroforestry to frame your mistake in a way that really impresses the lesson on your mind so that you can learn from it. So let's go over and look at a cacao plant that was planted around the same time as this one. I know everything, every, all the ones in this row were planted at the same time. Let's find one that was planted in the shade and protection of one of these big plantain uh, trees to make a comparison. So I only had to walk about 12 meters away from that poor little struggling cacao plant in the same row and find this guy. And as you can see, this cacao plant is thriving. It's bushed out, it's much larger, the leaves are shiny and glossy, they don't have any of those little spots on them, they're not yellowed, he's not exposed to the sun, it's not exposed to the pummeling force of the rain, and it's doing quite well. So in concrete terms, we have obviously ground cover, we're able to mulch, uh, we've got a nice thick layer of mulch down there which attracts microbi microbial organisms up to the surface. They eat those leaves. It gets all the nutrients cycled up on the surface, which is where it happens here in the tropics and subtropics, not deep in the soil, but close to the surface. And above we have canopy, right? We've got this nice and beautiful umbrella of this large banana tree uh, extending over the cacao. It allows sunlight to pass through. You can see that clearly, but it also dapples the sunlight in a really beautiful way. And it also uh, intercepts the really driving force of the rain. So in concrete terms, we have canopy and ground cover. And those are the two main benefits in very concrete terms of planting uh, cacao in the shade and shelter of bananas. Now this also works for all sorts of other um, partnerships and companions that you can build up in a farming system. It doesn't matter if it's tropical, subtropical, or temperate. Okay, so if you think back to that little skinny cacao plant that I showed you guys that was suffering, that had the yellow leaves, the problem with that cacao plant was there was nothing really wrong with the plant itself, but that it was living in isolation. So the second law of thermodynamics, which is the opposite of syntropy, entropy, tells us that in any isolated system, entropy never decreases, which means once things go into a state of decay and falling apart, they keep falling apart. Now, syntropy is the opposite of that process. Syntropy is where all of the residues of an entropic process of something falling apart, like this banana leaf is in a state of entropy. It's falling apart, it's beginning to decay. It's ready to be digested by all these microbes. So as this leaf goes into a more entropic state, it can then provide for this cacao tree. So it's not so much that all living things live in service of other living things, they do, but some of them have to die. 
So it's like life in service of death and service of life in service of death. And it's that constant cycling process that creates a truly regenerative system and not one that just keeps going like sustainable, like keeps going in one way. But it's not a closed loop, people. It's not a closed loop. It's not a closed circle. It's a circle with entrances and exits where some things have to entropy their way out. And then you have a syntropic process of rebuilding. So, yes, things fall apart, but then they also build back up. So if you guys like this, you find these videos and checking out our food forest here beneficial to your knowledge and gives you some hope about climate crisis and positive change, check us out. Our website, www.sdvforest.com, uh, exclusive content on our Patreon page and lots more videos here on YouTube.